I very much had a classroom approach to education. And so I, yeah. that first year I came home, we pulled out the, you know, we had the desk. I made a um, bulletin board and we had a flag. And I mean, it was just, I was going to recreate yeah. it. I was going to do it better than they did it. But in my mind, there was only one way to homeschool. It's just to replicate what I had already been doing in the classroom. You have 11 kids. How many have you graduated? Let's see. I'll be on my, let me count, one, two, three, <laughs> fifth, fifth one this year will be graduating. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So talk about that journey with your kids and what that has looked like with them. Um, and, and I would assume, because I've talked to a lot of homeschool moms who have older kids and then they have younger ones. You said your oldest is 29 and your youngest is seven, right? Right. So I would imagine that you homeschooled your older kids much differently than you are homeschooling your younger kids. Correct. Right? Yeah. So talk about kind of that transition in your life and how you've gone from maybe, you know, figuring out that it's not just all about the academics and it's more about life. What does that look like for you? So I, when I came home to first start homeschooling, I had a six-year-old, seven-year-old who was in first grade and then a baby. So I started from the very beginning. But before okay. that, I taught high school English. And so I very much had a classroom approach to education. And so I, yeah. that first year I came home, we pulled out the, you know, we had the desk, I made a um, bulletin board and we had a flag. And I mean, it was just, I was going to recreate yeah. it. I was going to do it better than they did it. But in my mind, there was only one way to homeschool. It's just to replicate what I had already been doing in the classroom. Um, it didn't take me long to figure out that was not going to that was not a good approach for us. We were both uh, frustrated. She was bored. And so it has taken you know, a lot of time and years to, and I'm still, I, I still have to, I still get fearful um, and kind of sometimes panic. Am I doing enough? Is this going to turn out? And I will say that um, I have two in college right now. And like, for example, my second daughter is about to be in nursing school. And even after we've done a very, she's three or four down the line, even after we relaxed a lot and took a very relaxed approach, um, she's top of her class with a, as a straight A student. So that to me is another confirmation. And now part of that is because of her more full orbed character, if you will. So she is a hard worker. She um, has learned diligence and we've just been able to see how children learn what they need to learn when they need to learn it. So even if you didn't cover every, every detail that you were, you can't cover every detail. Right. You can't cover all the things, but even if there are deficiencies, the time, when the time comes that they need to learn those things, God has created us in an amazing way. So humans yeah. are, um, you know, we have the ability for amazing things. And, and if you think about when they handed you your baby, you know, we didn't panic here, here, we're in charge of this child. We've got to teach it the English language. We've got it. We didn't go get curriculum to, to help our child learn how to speak English or to learn all of the psychology and, and those things that he learned on his own. Um, and so trusting that process that God has given us such a curiosity and an ability to learn the things we need to learn when we need to learn them, I think would help us to, it would free us up from some stress. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 